Hello, welcome back. Um, in this video, uh, we're going to sketch a right triangle uh, for a given trigonometric equation. Uh, sine theta equals uh, 1 over 3. Here, theta is an acute angle, which means that this is in between 0 and 90 degrees. And by using the triangle, we are going to evaluate all five trigonometric functions for theta. Okay, so only sine theta is provided to us and we're gonna find all others by using the right triangle. At this moment, I wanna remind you uh, the right triangle business here. So if you have a right triangle of this sort and where theta, theta is uh, placed here, sine of that angle theta is defined as the opposite sine divided by hypotenuse, okay? And cosine, is defined as adjacent side divided by hypotenuse and, and, and tan of theta is equal to opposite divided by the adjacent side for, for that angle, okay? So going back here and using the same uh, triangle here, okay, same triangle here, um, So sine theta, well, it's equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. So why don't we use one for the opposite side and three for the hypotenuse, okay? So this way, again, sine of theta equals opposite, which is one divided by hypotenuse, which is three, okay? So to be able to find the other uh, trig functions here, we need to know what, what the adjacent side is. And this comes out of the Pythagorean theorem, which basically says that if you call this side to be x, okay, adjacent squared plus opposite squared is equal to hypotenuse squared, okay? And then x squared, so one squared is one, subtracting one from both sides equals nine, minus one, that is equal to eight. If x squared equals eight, x is going to be the square root of eight. But since square root of, since in fact eight is four times two and four is two squared, I can simplify this as two square root of two. So here, x is two root two. So now, since I know all the sides of uh, the trig function, at this moment, I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use the definitions of uh, uh, sine, cosine, tan, and all other three uh, trig functions um, to determine the values of them. All right, so well, well, cosine of theta, is, as we mentioned earlier, is going to be adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So it's going to be 2 square root of 2 divided by 3. And tan of theta is going to be opposite divided by adjacent. So it's going to be 1 over 2 root 2. And cotan is going to be adjacent divided by uh, opposite which is 2 root 2 over 1, which is 2 root 2, okay? And secant theta is going to be hypotenuse divided by adjacent. And finally, cosecant theta is going to be hypotenuse divided by opposite, and that's equal to 3, all right? So this way we determined all six trig functions. Remember that the first one is provided to us and we determined the other five out of that by using the right triangle idea. And, and I totally recommend you to sort of like know the definitions of all six trig functions in terms of the right triangle to be able to solve a problem of this sort. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.